welcome back to this channel and today we'll be looking at another robot and today is the simplest and the easiest robot that all of you can make is uh, an obstacle avoidance robot using um, Arduino Uno and also using a custom 3D printed face like this along with um, uh, RGB LEDs. So let's get started. So let's look um, in details uh, the components um, of the robot. First of all, um, uh, what I did was I used a metal chassis in red and as you can see that uh, this is metal, this is not um, acrylic and this uh, comes in handy because uh, as you are trying out uh, the robot it will bump into the wall or it might fall down and the build quality comes very well uh, if you uh, make it with uh, the metal body. Uh, then obviously you need uh, the Arduino Uno with the motor uh, uh, driver shield. I will be putting um, the description um, in the link below. You also need one SG90 servo because uh, that is going to turn uh, the neck um, um, of uh, the robot. Uh, this one is uh, 3D printed, uh, so I have included uh, the STL file which you can um, uh, print and uh, get it done. So this is for the uh, neck um, um, of uh, the robot. I also have uh, some cool um, uh, LED lights in uh, three colors which I have uh, put it here. And then you obviously you need battery jumper wear and wheels uh, to match uh, the chassis. In terms of motors, I am just using um, the normal boom motors which are available uh, very freely and then now I have a metal ball ca uh, caster wheel. All right. Now um, one thing to note that you know uh, as a starter uh, this robot uh, performs really well but uh, there are, this is not uh, uh, the perfect uh, solution. I want uh, you to, all of you to understand that this is just a a simple uh, school level uh, project um, probably because uh, in real life uh, if you try to use an ultrasonic sensor you will have a lot of uh, blind spot example if the ultrasonic so sensor is reading at this point and there is movement and the object is also moving and then this point comes here so there the there is a lot of um, blind spots which gets created and it is uh, not a perfect uh, solution when designing uh, production grade uh, robots for detecting obstacles. Probably in uh, such a scenario uh, you can use uh, things uh, like uh, the leader which is um, 360 degree and um, uh, it uh, it works on um, uh, lasers as, as you can see. Um, uh, these are all uh, laser guided. All right. So, uh, but we will not be talking uh, to that about the leaders, but we will stick to the ultrasonic sensor because we are trying to make an uh, uh, easy robot. So now uh, let's uh, try to power it and um, try to see uh, the functionality bef before we go to the uh, trial run. And as you can see, the LEDs are quite cool. I am not sure if it is coming in the camera, but uh, there are demo videos in which uh, it is coming and so the mechanism is very simple it will look left and right and um, find out which is the um, uh, shortest distance and then uh, take it across all right so and uh, it works uh, fairly well um, considering um, uh, the, uh, the indoor environment and um, few bumps here and there but as I said, uh, uh, that's the best you can make uh, with an ultrasonic sensor. Uh, you can also consider uh, giving here a switch kind of a sensor or a bumper switch so that if there is actually a collision then there is another um, another navigation option or you can put, uh, I've seen people put a more ultrasonic sensor but eventually it doesn't add up because if you're, if you're trying to do a 360 degree kind of a uh, um, uh, solution then probably you have to go, go with cameras. Um, and leaders. So um, I think that's about uh, the body of it. Um, uh, I have given the code uh, in the GitHub and I put uh, the link uh, as well. So I would request all of you to go and have a look and uh, let's go into the coding part. Okay, now let us uh, try to uh, see the code. And uh, in this code, uh, there are actually uh, two components. Uh, the first one um, is uh, uh, for the um, um, obstacle uh, obstacle detection okay um, and uh, that is uh, the first thing and uh, the second is uh, is, is with the um, LED okay 
Now uh, let's talk on the LED part uh, first. Uh, the library to use is uh, first uh, uh, LED. So you need to go and uh, import it. Uh, and um, it is there with the Arduino Studio. So you can go and um, uh, uh, download it. And um, one thing to note is that, you know, uh, try to power it. And I have commented also with the barrel jack because uh, then the current is around uh, 900 milliamps. Uh, so if you use the uh, jack within the Arduino, then you get somewhere around uh, 900 uh, milli, milliamp. And if you use the USB, you get 400 milliamps. Okay, so if you have too many LEDs, like for me, my strip had um, um, eight uh, LEDs. Okay, so here uh, is the definition. So if you have uh, six, you just put six here. If you have two, you have put two here. For me, it was eight. Okay, so I put eight here. And when I'm using eight, uh, then I think obviously 900 milliamp um, is better than uh, 400. All right, so try to use. Um, uh, the DC uh, barrel jack. All right. Now the next thing is that in terms of de uh, declaration, it uh, it is a three uh, three pin. And if you go to the GitHub also, so one is V in and one is ground, and another is uh, D in, which is uh, digital input. And uh, the digital input is uh, in my case it is uh, two. Uh, bear in mind that certain LEDs have four pin also with a clock. A uh, clock pulse uh, and a clock pin to do the synchronization and uh, I've just commented out in case it has another thing which is clock in your case so you go and uh, define that pin also for me it was uh, not uh, needed all right so um, that's the first part um, of uh, the declaration uh, for uh, for the LED and the next part is um, uh, declaring uh, the color and now the colors are stored in arrays and uh, since um, I had um, eight LEDs I have defined it like this that you know the first three are red uh, then green and then um, blue so set one set two set three so if you want uh, to change this combination you can go ahead and change example uh, here are uh, eight LEDs three four five six seven eight and all of them has that ic a tiny ic which you can see which um, uh, which coordinates all this thing now this declaration here means that red 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 and then green green blue 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 now it's up to you uh, to uh, change it and then for toggle we are just taking it to the uh, blank stage so this is the on stage and if I off it, I just uh, uh, put it as black and then it will be off. All right. So that's the first part of the uh, program in which you are uh, talking about um, uh, uh, the LED. The next part um, is um, on uh, the ultrasonic uh, sensor. Now, if you, if you look at the ultrasonic sensor, it has uh, first thing to note is that it has analog pins. It has not uh, digital pins, which means that it has values. Okay, it has values not necessarily 0 and 1. All right, and then you have defined the maximum distance and the speed. Uh, and uh, if you want uh, your robot to be a little bit faster, you can change it to 180 also. So this is something which you have to uh, fine tune according to uh, the hardware which you have. Offset is the uh, error offset. And uh, this uh, are the four motors configuration for uh, Adafruit motor driver, motor driver. And bear in version, uh, the version is 2. Okay, so version 1, if you have that board, it will not work. And currently, I am using because mine is a two wheel, I am using channel 1 and channel 4. But uh, if you have um, uh, um, a four wheel, you can use uh, all the four channels. You can also decide to uh, comment it out. I have not commented, uh, uncommented it. Uh, so if you want, you can comment it, but I have left it uh, uncommented. All right. Uh, by default, um, it does not go forward. So there is a Boolean uh, flag uh, set. So if you don't set it, uh, moment to turn it, it will start uh, spinning. So I don't want that. And the rest of the code is. Um, quite simple in which you actually uh, take the distance and you compare the right and the left distance if um, uh, there um, uh, there is an obstacle 
and then uh, you take um, uh, you take the distance which is um, which is the least so there is nothing much to talk about it uh, which is a uh, very standard and uh, you can just look into the code and understand or comment up uh, if you have any questions all right now the other thing i want to say is that um, uh, this is the um, uh, github which uh, you can see so you can download all the artifacts uh, for this uh, project uh, from this uh, uh, github and um, uh, it has not only the code, uh, it also has um, uh, the 3D file, which is the STL file, which is the 3D uh, STL file, which you can go um, and uh, download, all right? So um, in case uh, uh, you uh, like this uh, design, uh, go and uh, download this particular um, STL file and give to a 3D printer. Uh, supplier uh, or a services uh, farm there are a lot of uh, them available over the internet these days and um, you can go and uh, download it all right so let's see some final testing videos and if you have liked the, uh, this video do like share and subscribe and i'll catch up with you in the next video